hello welcome to my channel my name is Lisa and today um, we are gonna be working again um, in my bee journal I'm creating some um, ephemera some uh, pockets uh, journal tags um, um, and some regular tags hopefully if we get some time um, to go in here um, we have been getting quite a bit in here it's getting a little bit chunky but it's still still is not too bad no we're getting there all right, so I'm gonna get this to the side for now until I get it. I'm gonna show you what I made. Um, so we're gonna start out by um, creating these uh, pockets, uh, easy wrap around pockets. Um, started with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, I got it out of the ephemera from Hobby Lobby. It was just a full sheet of uh, butterflies. Um, I took them and I cut them into um, three inches high. So I, have, I ended up with four, four strips, um, three inches high. Let me get this out of the way. So um, if you've seen any of my videos with my uh, journal, um, you'll know that I have three signatures in there. One, two, three. Um, so I have been creating three of everything to put into the journal. So there is um, something similar in each signature. So I did cut, like I said, um, four. I do have four strips. Um, all I did was um, I cut the strips three inches high. Um, I folded them in half and then I took my uh, corner rounder and uh, snipped out the thumb hole to wrap it. I have inked around the edges already, um, so you don't have to watch that real exciting stuff for that. So um, now when I was cutting these, I did notice that um, there's a few places, and of course I'm not gonna find them now, um, that have just a little bit of stitching on here. Um, so I thought it was kind of cool that it had some stitching. So I didn't want to necessarily sew on these. Um, so like on this one, you'll see I have stamped it um, with I have choo -choo -choo, choo -choo -choo -choo. Um, I've got these faux uh, stamp um, faux stitches for stamps um, so I'm gonna do that on these um, I did also use my uh, black soot archival ink because there was so much black on there and the stitching that I did see that was on here um, was also black so um, I decided to uh, find that um, I'm not sure which of the three I'm going to use out of these four, um, but I figured I would go ahead and stamp them all because I did like the way um, the stitching looked on here. Um, and I, like I said, I did this one already. I kind of like that stamp stitching there, but um, this kind of has a nice open spot. So maybe I'll do the fun flowers. Now I also, eh, let's get my under sheet here. All right, so let's get a little ink on here. And yeah, let's throw the stitching marks on this one. Yeah, cute. All right, I think I'll just do the same on this side. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna go up the sides on this one, necessarily. I went up the sides on this one in the top. But, on this side, I only did that one stitch on the bottom. So these kind of are stitched on the side already. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that one got stamped. And that one's stamped. Uh, this one, be kind of nice to throw something across the top. I think I like this wavy one. So, Let's ink this. Now obviously this was not a uh, necessity to do because it um, didn't have to be, but I just thought it was kind of fun to add to it. So, all right, I think. All right, let's stamp this side with the waviness. And then I think I might just do the one side with the stitching. Yeah, I think I'll just do the one side. A little bit more open space there. All right, so we're gonna just bring it down a little. So we got the end stitching. And I don't think I'm gonna do there because it's kind of close to the butterfly. So yeah, okay. 
all that one done. Dun, dun, dun. And what about this one? This one. All right, I think it needs just a little stitch, just little, little. So let's try this one. That one actually doesn't feel like I've ever used this one. this side here see what that looks like it's kind of like a barcode <laughs> right all right put a little barcode under library yeah I like it it'll work and there and we'll call that one a day I just read on that. okay put that lid on there and we'll put those stamps oops you go on that side okay put those stamps away all right get that ink off of that Move that to the side so I don't blind you to death there because I know that happens all the time. Don't realize it's happening. So, okay. So, like I said, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use, um, but I do know where I'm going to put them. So, I've decided to put them. Did this in the last video. Isn't that cute? Um, I am going to put them on these black and white um, pages. So, let's see. There's. A little purple on this side. This could be fun. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't think I mind that one. All right, this one's got purple. I think I like this one better. Got the little flower on the bottom. Well, yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so second signature. Let's see. And I want to put it, I put the first one in the front of it. I want to put this one in the front. I do. I think I do. All right, so a little purple butterfly there, and I like that beige with that. So yeah, okay. All right, so do I keep the first one in the front like the other one? It's got the green and purple. Well, yeah, okay, there we go, beautiful. Okay, you are gonna go into my to-do box, my to-do book, I should say. All right, well, since I've got this one open, I might as well glue her down. Okay, so it is gonna get glued on the side and on the bottom. I'm gonna just glue the one and come back and glue the rest. Oh, and I forgot to say, I cut these down, um, uh, the, like I said, the three inch high. And then after I folded them, I did cut them down to be, um, this is five and a quarter. So it ends up being, what, uh, 10 and a half inches? Yeah, 10 and a half inches. Um, so I did cut the sheet down from the 12 inches. Um, otherwise, it was too big. I was going to do five, uh, five, but it just seemed a little too short to do five. Um, I really kind of wanted it to be um, a full pocket. So yes, yeah, so if uh, nice and 
a nice quick easy mass make that is for sure one 12 by 12 sheet of paper and uh, you can within minutes make uh, four wraparound easy pockets so like I said um, uh, if you saw my last video um, I do have uh, an example um, that I have upside down um, journal card that I'm going to be sticking in uh, these um, so yeah okay all right to the middle to the middle to the middle to the middle there you are all right we'll do the same thing oh wavy little hands there <laughs> okay now get this glued in it's a little straight and all the way in there we go all right well, I hope your day is going well today mine is pretty good so far it's uh kind of cool out today it was nice this morning I had to do some errands and <laughs> I think my dog's dreaming I don't know if you can hear that or not he's like yipping Probably chasing rabbits in his sleep. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to pause the video because the noise my dog was making was something I never heard before. And I just want to make sure he wasn't like in some sort of distress. He's, you know, he's got a little bit of an older dog. About 11 years old, so not really old, but um, he does have a heart murmur, um, heart medication. So, you know, you get worried. They're your babies, so just want to make sure there wasn't anything. But he just literally was in such a deep sleep. It took me a minute to wake him up, too. And he did not look happy after I woke him. I got the stink eye. Like, whatever he was dreaming about was good. And uh, didn't appreciate having to stop dreaming about it. So, yeah, but he's all good. Oops, wrong page. All right. Yeah. Oh, nuts. <laughs> okay. All right, make sure that that... All right, we'll make sure this doesn't end up. Sticking where it shouldn't stick. Okay, all right, let's get this side done. push it from this side because it's a little little around the corner there yeah I like these uh, how they're dark in the black and white in there I, I think that was I like I like that choice for where they ended up going so okay all right well I think I'm gonna um, do a planned pause of this video um, get this um, moved out of the way and get my stuff ready um, things I need to make uh, the journal cards to go into um, these pockets. So I will be uh, right back with those. All right, I am back and ready to do these journal cards to stick in those side pockets um, that we just created. It'll be very cute together, I think. All right, so um, what I did is I took a, um, a regular cardstock uh, brown crafty looking color I actually used the same paper in my faux stamps that I just made um, I got to put these in the these guys I use the same paper for that um, I got to get those in the book at some point too 
I um, decided to use these stamps on there, and that was because I had seen this recently. Um, it was a stamp off um, piece of paper that I had. I kind of kept um, where I was getting the ink off, and I thought it looked nice, um, but I didn't like it on the white paper. Obviously, I thought it was gonna be too stark for it. That's why I got the craft paper, um, but I thought those were kind of cool, and that's where I got the inspiration to do the stamp. Um, I did find three uh, sideways uh, butterflies, so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so I got the the bees, the butterflies, and the flowers all kind of merging onto one card. Um, I also do have um, stamped or uh, stenciled in the back um, my recent um, uh, Tim Holtz stamps that I got. Um, this first one I did, um, I did that kind of reminded me sort of like a honeycomb kind of shape. Um, I was also thinking about doing this uh, splatter one. Don't think I'll do the brick one or the wood one. Um, and yeah, so I cut these down to four, um, yeah, four inches wide, and they happen to be just randomly um, seven inches tall. And that's because that's all I had left on the paper after I had cut down my stamp stuff. So that's that's how the height became seven. And then the um, five inches or four uh, inches wide, just so it had enough room to get inside of um, there. Um, it was a 12 inch piece of paper, so. 12 divided by three is four. So that's how I got to the size. No no uh, rhyme or reason why, just that's why. All right, so get that out of the way. Let's get this first one off. Maybe we can do them together. Why not? We'll do the stamping and such together. All right. All right, well, so we're gonna start with the stenciling in the back. And I said, I think I'm gonna do the splattery kind of thing. Only because um, since I kind of got to do it not fast, but a little bit more rough here um, on camera, um, I don't want to chance ruining the, um, um, these are so fine. I got to do it so gently. It's easier when it's off camera to do it gently than it is on camera. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Let's do this one. Um, I am using the uh, twig. What is it called? Uh, gather twigs for the brown. I thought it was a good contrast to the um, craft-ish kind of paper I was using. So that is why I picked that one. Okay. More right up there and okay, there we go. Stenciled. All right, so now each one is gonna have, oh, I gotta do these. All right, so um, let's see, I did the lily one already. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the sunflower one. These were the same stamps set that I used when I made the um, uh, the ink uh, background uh, thing that I had. I don't know if I have any handy. I had them in the last video. Oh, there they are. Um, when I made these, um, a lot of those backgrounds were in there before I cut those apart. So I thought it was also a nice tie-in that I'm going to um, have these as full where you can see the whole thing. As all right, get on there. As a full stamp versus on those tags, they're kind of cut apart. And you can just see um, hints of them, so that'd be nice to have it in the same journal because I'm going to be um, uh, including these uh, in a tuck pocket that I made um, for a previous video. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, you're a bummer. Oh, you're a bummer. See if I can get that. 
No, oh, that helped a little bit. Okay. Oh, phew. I feel better now. Okay. That's a little better. Okay, so I got the sunflower for that one, and I got the lilies for that one. So maybe these poppy rose ones. Yeah, this could work okay. I don't want a sideways one. I don't want the evergreen pine tree. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Okay. I hope your day is going well. I don't think I said that. Hopefully you've got some fun stuff that you're crafting with today. Okay. All right, make sure we press all the little parts on this one. <laughs> I have to try to line that up again. Even though I did a pretty good job, job lining that up, I can see a little bit of a shadow where it shifted over here, but to get that full center, I was quite happy with. Oh, and see, that turned out good. Okay. Yay. Totally user error. All right. So you got user error. Let's put them on the right side of the plastic. Okay. All right, we're done with those. Put those away. Okay, put that away. I'm not glaring you to death. All right, so now these are gonna cover these up a little bit. I think I might tear this down a little bit. white of the paper. It's um, printed digital, so it's got the white back there. All right, that's not too bad. I can do that. And then this one. I don't know if I, I, I want to get tear the top off because there is a little bit of B, a little bit of a B, and whoops, and the top of the um, like silo jar thing that they were next to in here. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Now, I think I'm going to put this one here because he's brighter. He can go there by himself. Yeah. Okay. Now, I also did put. Well, they don't have to all be exactly the same, but because they are, oops, upside down, because they are in totally different signatures, I don't mind that they look very similar. Okay, I'll get this on the bottom here. Now, once you kind of got something, right there he is, once you got something that works, uh, you might as well make it multiple times, kind of make it a little bit more mass made, as they say. I think I want something right there. And you're probably a little too big, right? No, actually, you'd fit. Okay. No. <laughs> I get too rambunctious. Oh, look at that. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you're going to go there, you're going to go there. And um, I pulled a bunch of labels that I can stick. glue down. It's so hard to tell sometimes what it's going to um, look like while it's floating in the air. Okay. All right. Okay, 
here I'm gonna go right about there. Okay, I'm not gonna glue him down yet because on my first one I did, I did put a label up there to kind of anchor him down a little bit. So I'm gonna wait a minute, wait a hot minute for that. We'll just glue this on. right off the page. All right, time for a new glue page. <laughs> you are done. Okay. All right, new glue page. Now I can see a little bit better. Right, I'm gonna just trim that down just ever so slightly, a little longer than I think I want it to be. to keep one of these little ones as it is your little glue thing yeah that fits a little better okay we'll put that there you could look cute yeah, I think you might look cute there all right but uh, also like that other one I'm just gonna snip this down a little I felt it coming apart. Okay, let me throw a little bit of glue in here. These are um, one of my my Tim Holtz that I made. Tiny Tim Holtz, I can tell by the back. It's kind of a beige color. And there we go. So since it's a little thicker, I'm going to use jewelry glue on that. Put you right there. You're a little thicker. I'll use you also. All right, we're gonna put you at a little bit of an angle. Okay. All right, so do I want some sort of label up there? That one I don't think I do. I think I'm gonna glue you down. But him, I don't know. A plane up there. This one I inked more, and maybe that's the issue. But he seems like he needs something to land on right there. So let's see if I have a Tracy Fox label I can use. Let's see. Probably something simple. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's throw a little ink on this. these on sticker paper and I can throw you and then we'll throw a little glue on this okay yeah there we go like that I like that Okay. Get rid of a couple of my little crumbs here. And get those 
those to the side. Okay, pin in the glue. All right, so, okay. And there's the third one. Cute, yeah, I like them. Flowers, bees, and butterflies. Yeah, like it, like it a lot. Okay, so. cover on this before I cause a disaster. All right, now we have three places these tags can go. Definitely, I like that. Whoops, wrong page. Yep, I like that one. Now I have, and I'm going to come back in a minute, I have these uh, journal cards that I have back there gluing on some backing right now that I need to cut out that are going to go on the other side here. So after I put these in, we'll go cut those out. And all right, so this one, That there's the teal um, butterfly wing in that. Yeah, okay. And to the third one. All right, so. I like that, like that. Okay, there's a little purple in there for that, so beautiful. Okay, let's put this to the side for just a moment and we'll grab these. And we'll find my ginormous scissors. And we'll cut. Gonna just cut them away from this taller paper. And I'm gonna get my save you as a scrap, save you as a scrap. I cut these um, uh, journal cards when I cut them off of the digital. I cut them to be five and a half um, wide. So they should end up just about that size. I might cut a little bit off as I'm trimming it. Uh, but they are, yeah, they're approximately five and a half by six and a half. I think I might go ahead and round those two and ink them up after I cut these all. And then we will throw them in the opposite side. That looks pretty well cut. The opposite side of that pocket we just created. And I'm not too worried that the one side is kind of duller. Um, not dull, but, you know, neutrally colors. And this side is a little brighter because they're on two different... Two different planes, as they say. Two different worlds. And when I originally started, I thought I would probably do all more brighter colors, but I kind of like the fact that there's a little bit more, some neutral stuff in there also, just to kind of balance it out. And if everything was bright and crazy, then bright and crazy it is. <laughs> but no need to do it. Okay. All right, those feel a little bit better.
right, so I figured I'd speed that part up because inking and uh, is not exactly uh, needs to be taught. <laughs> All right, so these are going to go on the back side of, or the front side, depending on when that went. All right, so this one got a lot of pink flowers in it, so. Is this the one that I got caught with my glue? Yeah, I think that was the one. Okay. All right. Yeah, that works. Okay, and second one. Too, right purple purple beautiful and the third one is right there okay it's got to be the front and oh look teal teal you know sometimes these things work out without really trying so life is good okay well that was fun I think I'm gonna call this video done um, yeah, so that is pretty good. So I think the next video might be the last one for this book because what I think I'm gonna end up doing is um, I'm gonna create those cards that are gonna go in the back of these. And then I do have somewhere in here, I've got a green gingham checkered uh, one that I keep going. I gotta make a journal card for that. And maybe I'll make another one of those similar that I just had those bees that I just did. I think I've got another one or actually, actually I say to myself, where are they? I have, that one would be fun I bet. Maybe I could just back it onto itself. Make a journal card. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'll go across from there for sure. Okay, I think I'll do that. I think I will do that for that. All right, I think we got a little bit of time. We can go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna cut these down. Alright, now I don't think these are going to be strong enough together to make a journal card, so I think I'm going to need to track down a heavier piece of paper um, to stick in the center of that. So I will be right back with that. Okay, I am back. So, um, I found a um, plain, heavier, crafty kind of um, one. I have glued the front onto it already. I figured you didn't have to watch me uh, glue two layers on there. Um, not exactly, uh, again, rocket science, but I just wanna show you that I did have um, something in between just to strengthen this out. And I'll put this at the bottom. And of course, I have to cut this down a little because I, whoa, come on. No. There we go. I did cut the, Probably could 
keep it like that, but I'm gonna cut it down. Okay. And only really because I have it to the width to fit in the space. I don't want it to not fit in the space. So, otherwise, I don't think I'd have been upset with it peeking out necessarily. Yeah. All right. So, still about four and a half, a little bit longer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just. Finish it off. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so one last rounding. Hopefully it's not too early in the gluing process to do this. Okay. And we'll just ever so slightly get the edges so that the, even though it was brown craft paper in there, the digitals had white on their side, so. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's much better. Stand up. <laughs> that's cute. Look at that, that's adorable. Okay. And you think I'd put a place mark in there so I know where it's at. But you know, that would be too simple. Seriously, I thought it was in the middle one. Look how cute that is, peeking out. All right, so I will probably end up um, decorating that uh, with something when I go ahead and uh, make these for the side pocket things that I got. Yeah, okay. Probably just a label or something maybe. A little bit of a squirrel that's all I keep saying it's over <laughs> and yet it's not just like how that ties into the colors of that so I can build off of that at some point add something up there yeah probably some sort of fit oh I know Oh, I know. Where's my third one? I have those, and I've got these fabrics from the front uh, cover that I never finished using. Well, that's got the right colors. Is that upside down? I don't think it matters. That definitely has the right colors. Little destination. Don't like it on there because it's too similar. I like it on there. destination up there and 
I'll probably just throw a little little label down there. I got one of those ones I had pulled. Okay, I like that one. I gotta watch myself. Before I know it, it's gonna be a four hour video and I'll be like, how did that happen? that happen? Oh. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to put the other two in the other signature. Because these guys are going to have to go into, this is the third signature, these are going to have to go in the second and first signature. So, let's keep this stuff together. And maybe I'll find another tag spot I can decorate with those. So, okay. All right. I'm definitely going to call it done. I don't uh, want to keep you for too long. Um, I will, like I said, I'll do those after um, we do the video. And we do those. So, um, I'll figure out where to put them at that point. So, I love it. Love it. I don't think I could be happier. Okay. Um, that is going to be it for me today. I promise. Um, if you have any comments, uh, questions, um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you like the video, a thumbs up would be awesome. And subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so, um, that would be great too. And you can see when I post the next video um, with the upcoming uh, projects that I have for this bee journal. So, all right, that is going to be it for me today. Thanks so much and have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.